This video will examine the external anatomy of the cockroach and then demonstrate how to dissect the cockroach in order to examine the internal anatomy. The first step is to make sure you have gathered all of the necessary equipment. This includes your dissection dish, a pair of scissors, forceps, a probe, pins, and of course a cockroach. The cockroach used in this video is the Madagascar hissing cockroach, Gromfaterina portentosa. Here we see two cockroaches, one female and one male. Let us examine some of the features that differ between males and females of this sexually dimorphic species. To begin with, males are larger than females. Males have large bumps or horns on the pronotum, known as pronotal humps, while in the female they are much smaller. Turning the cockroaches over, the males have a series of three plates at the end of their abdomen, while the female has just one larger segment. Take a look at your cockroach and determine if it is a male or a female. Now we will examine some of the other features of the cockroach external anatomy. The cockroach is divided into three distinct body parts. The head, not visible from the dorsal side as it is protected by the pronotum, the thorax, and the abdomen. Here is an antenna a sensory organ that cockroaches use to explore the world around them. This individual only has one antenna, as he has lost the other one. You should be able to see the sensory cerci located near the last abdominal segment. The cerci are sensory organs that detect air movement, such as from a predator running up from behind, allowing the cockroach to evade capture. Let's turn the cockroach over and take a closer look at the ventral side. Beginning with the head, you should be able to see the antenna, compound eyes, and some of the mouth parts. In this diagram, the labrum and mandibles are identified. The labrum acts like an upper lip, while the mandibles are chewing structures similar to the vertebrate jaw. There are three pairs of jointed legs, one on each of the three segments of the thorax. Taking a closer look at one of the legs, you can see the various distinct parts that give the cockroach its great climbing ability including on smooth surfaces. Let's now prepare for dissection. Place the cockroach ventral side up and then with scissors remove all six legs. Insert your scissors between the last abdominal segment and cut towards the head along the side of the exoskeleton. Do this along both sides. Peel back the ventral part of the exoskeleton, using a probe to help detach it from the rest of the internal structures. Remove the ventral exoskeleton. If it is a female cockroach, you may see the uuthika containing yellowish eggs in the abdominal cavity. These cockroaches are ovoviviparous, meaning eggs are produced and hatched within the mother's body, allowing for added protection from the environment and predation. In order to view the rest of the internal anatomy, you will need to remove the oatheca before continuing with the dissection. The whitish matter surrounding the gut that is now visible is the fat body. If it makes things easier, you can use pins to secure the cockroach in place, like this. Before removing the fat body, it is best to locate the other structures so as not to damage any of the organs. The esophagus can be found near the head. Once it has been identified, the tube of the digestive tract can be followed all the way to the anus. Using a bent probe, the fat bodies around the digestive tract can now be carefully removed. With your probe, tease apart the coiled digestive tract. Observe the trachea. They look like shiny white branching tubes. They connect the exoskeleton to the organs, providing some structure and also carrying air from the external valves called spiracles to the organs. Now that the dissection has been completed, you should be able to identify the various parts of the digestive tract. 
These parts include the esophagus, crop, gastric cica, malpighian tubules, colon, and rectum. At this point, your dissection is complete, but feel free to continue to examine your specimen and see what else you can identify.